So, yeah, I was thinking today is a new day. And I was thinking how much further the world could get if they only legalize hemp to be like an ordinary old tomato plant. And we will call it the matter plant because it matters to me. <laughs> and anyone that uh, had a desire to create employment. That would be so wrong of you. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I already, I already put my hands up a long time ago and gave up. I was like, oh. So now, and I got over it, so I don't see why you can't get over it. Yeah, I had to get rid of all those little red specks. <laughs> so, I'm sober today. Again. I don't know how that's possible, but okay. Yeah. You know, yeah, at least stop to think about the reality around us and what's going on, you know? What? Just, you know, we got a skate. Mm -hmm. forget what I was saying. What do you do that for? Come on, my O A E Wowzers. <laughs> I'm trying to catch I'm trying to get back on track what I was thinking. But I'm not oh yeah, peace tree. Ah, I was thinking of the peace tree. You know, because if they was to legalize it everywhere, you know, uh, the state would make much more taxes. You want to know why? Because there would be taxes on the sales of the, the hemp fiber in general in itself. Plus there would be employment and growing and processing that hemp fiber. And then there would be more jobs created in building garden dome homes. You know, which in itself creates employment by offering the homeowner uh, bases for food production. And, you know, I mean, they can add, put in their own style garden, you know, and what they grow and stuff would be on, on there. But it would all be like waterworks and ready to rock and roll. Uh, employment, the day you move in you, is the day you can start planting seeds in its little cup of rooms, you know, and then you can put a little you start food production right away. All year round. That means 12 months out of the year you get to grow food. And you get to dry and process food. And every month or every two weeks or whatever it is that's decided through the city council. You know, those, those people would be the top investing people. You know, they would get the biggest domes and the biggest say-sos. You know. Or we could, you know, like have, like just keep it the way it's going with the elections and just elect, you know, and elect a city council. You know, or a 
city called Heaven on Earth. And that is self-sustaining and creates dividend, you know, which is paid through employed, employed education. You know, so if you go to school, no matter what age you are, if you go to school and you do assignments and you turn in those assignments, you get paid for those assignments in heaven on earth. You know, because that's the way it should be. You know, because we're going to be providing the electric, we're going to be providing the clean water works. You know, the clean utilities, clean utilities, you know, and then the processation of the fuel and the methane, propane. Yeah, then see, then we can employ our doctors. The city would employ doctors that work on heaven on earth or trained in heaven on earth, you know, and paid by heaven on earth. And everyone that lives in heaven on earth and who carries the heaven on earth card the identification for heaven on earth you know gets all of those benefits free you know all your medical surgeries and all all your all your medications and everything you know free free medical paid through the city And we can, and that's that's how that's how you get refunded for for living in the city and helping produce fuel for the city by eating lots of greens. <laughs> so you can pay your doctor bills by eating lots of greens. <laughs> you know better the more greens the better so you know that's a good thing about heaven on earth you know and the garden dome home provides employment and shelter you know and you can hire homeless people you know to build homes so they can live in it and then they can start a garden dome home for their own family you know in the loft it don't have to be a four bedroom. It can be a loft and then you could make as many bedrooms as you wanted. Or, you know, as few many, you know, because you have a nice big garden area and then the next dumb part, you know, like eight feet high. The next part, because you want your tallest part to be the, the garden part. And then your shortest part is your control room, which basically a seat, a spin around seat in front of one of the computer monitors, you know, that does all your security and air locking systems and, you know, window covers and, you know, so you got a camera with a system makes your, makes your whole 360 panoramic view, you know. That way you can just swivel in your chair and see all the way around you outside without no windows or anything. You know, that's how one day you will be flying homes. You know, from pad station to pad station, from city to city. You know, you get tired of living in this city, you just you know, go out and unhook your, unhook your septic and garbage line and you know, and fly to your next pad and hook it up to your next, your next city, hook it up to the system. You know, that, that way you get, that way you can shut your, your main system down when it plugs in, you know, and you're wired right in, all you, you save on your, you know, and run on city. Yeah, but we're all talking about futuristic dreams that ain't quite hit reality yet. Because you know, I haven't found a community in unity willing to make positive changes and 
positive forward motions into a positive future which would allow us you know employed education into space exploration you know employed education into your career you know which once you, if you you really want to be a doctor in, in heaven on earth because you get paid the most you know because what do you, your doctors and scientists people that work that work on making your 100% American made American you know medications you know whereas professionals run the holes and those professionals are in team with the school system you know so that way people can go to school and learn those studies in, in depth because they want to you know like some teachers get paid more than other teachers but you know some teachers are needed more than other teachers as long as you're getting paid to learn, that's the good thing, right? That would be the awesome thing. Hmm. I, I would, I would, I'd really like to start here. You know, or, there's a big old, there's a big old field out there that could use them. Or, actually, the whole side of the hill could use the garden dome home. <laughs> Dome home villages and you know waterworks, power works. You know. Then we could have all kinds of good community works that would be really good. And then we could afford you know one of those one of those cable cars that that would take you from downtown you know Winston to over to the other side of the valley and then up, you know, up to the, the hill part and then across down to the lower parts and then back up to the other side of the river and up on the high parts and then down around, over down in the lower parts and or the back parts and then over here and come down around the lower parts and then, you know, across the river and back and you know, back up around that way and then on down and back around. That way you got the whole area covered, you know. And then just have each car, or have the car spaced out to where each stop lines the car up on the whole wheel side. You know, so that way it stops and then goes and then it'll stop at the next stop and then it'll go and pick up and stop at the next stop and go and pick up. You know, that way every time it stops, it's lined up to a, lined up to a get on and get off station. You know, then you can just, well, or you can put them on a, you know, put individual drivers, you know, car drivers. That way you could have more employment. You know, you'd be able to employ senior citizens that desire to keep working, but, <coughs> you know, so, hey, what well, would be more cooler than driving a cable car around, you know, like a, a car that rode on a cable, you know, individual cars, you know, and then you could have individual drivers like bus, like a bus stop, but, you know, yeah. Well, and then you can pull off into the station and pull off your rail uh, and park the cars. And as the cars are needed, you just pull them off the, off the parkway and put them on the, on the cable. And roll them onto the cable and they'll click in. You know. And then you put the little thing in it and you put the little pin. A little, uh, what do they call it? C clamp pins on a little foot uh, foot pin or a key. So yeah. That would be really cool, huh? And then you'd be able to go ride around the area and 
up above, you know, up above the tree line. You know, another thing is to put, we can take him down the side of the hill over here. We can put one of those roller coaster things where just the mountain roller coasters, you know, where not real fancy fancy one that be flipping around and throwing people everywhere, but you know, like a slow, a slower kid one, you know, kind of just goes down the hill. You strap men, they'd be sitting in a little buggy like a motorcycle or a little car or a little fire truck, you know, big enough to fit a, a parent and, you know, a kid or two in the, and buckle them in the front, you know, or little cars. And then just ride down this, this one single track with the thing here and a couple wheels down here, a guide rail and a couple wheels, you know, and you can just all the way down. That would be fun, huh? And what an attraction. What a revenue getter and all that would be. Because then you'd be able to take your your cable car to your over here to the roller coaster lift. You know. They stop here and get off and get on the roller coaster lift, you know, pay a pay a swipe your card and pay a couple credits or whatever. So that way it's a, pays for itself and then it pays it brings in the city revenue and then that makes better things for the city because then you'll have more money less taxes you know so that's right more money less taxes you know dad let me build let me build one of my simple power plant we could put you know 20 30 of them big old big old fan generators, you know, that they put up in the sky with a big fan on it and it goes around. We take 50 of those and stack them up on top of each other and run them. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. You should, count, you should figure out how to contact me and we'll talk about it. And, yeah, when we, yeah, so. We can make all kinds of cool things out of the imaginary old mind. As long as I don't drink too many six-packers. So, you know, it'll be all slow motion. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to speed up a little and wait, wait my, out of my dream world to, so I can drag it into my reality world. You know, because my dream world is much nicer than, uh, it's much nicer than the reality world. I think I went over my time. Well, I guess I'll catch you next time on the next video. And we can sit and talk about it some more. I'll take notes and we'll talk about my notes. <laughs> I think I'm starting to like being sober. Mm.